I'm joined now by Johanna Springer, the Director General of 5G AA, and Muriel Desager, who represents the Automotive Edge Computing Consortium. Hello, both of you. Thanks so much for speaking to Telecom TV. Now, the two of you have announced an MOU, just signed an MOU today. Um, Muriel, perhaps I could start by asking you if you could tell us a little bit more about the AECC. Thank you, Guy, and it's my pleasure to be here as well. And what is AECC? Basically, AECC stands for Automotive Edge Computing Consortium. So you hear for important wording. What does it mean? It means that this association with several members from all type of technology industry are looking to what shall we do with big data in the future and even now how to treat big data mainly via edge to make it cost and time effective. So that's the main mission of this association. And can I ask why is that important to the connected mobility and to the automotive sector? It's extremely important because you can imagine for all our future service and connected service, thousands, millions of data will transfer from car to car, from car to network to car, to cities and so on. So we need to find the best way to have this transfer of data and also the AI about the data located in such a way that we have the service at a good place at a good time. Thank you. And Johannes, you have just announced an MOU between the two organizations. Can you explain a little bit more about your partnership? 5G Automotive Association is about 5G and automotive. Of course, it's, uh, that's a natural fit. Automotive is in both associations uh, the major driver. It's a major stakeholder in the, in the association. And Within the 5G, we have, of course, a lot of 5G capabilities. One is the multi-access edge computing, which is a Mac, and uh, called Mac. And the Mac is, of course, the second natural fit of technology, piece of technology between the two associations. So we found out it's very fruitful and beneficial to collaborate closer together. Are the details of the collaboration uh, known yet? I mean, do, what, what, what do you hope to achieve? What are your objectives of working together? Yeah, the details are already, we have signed a memorandum of understanding uh, just a couple of minutes ago. And um, within this memorandum of understanding, we have figured out several uh, work pieces where we want to collaborate. One very important work piece are network APIs. Mm -hmm. Definitely very important also from a GSMA perspective, from the telco operator perspective, um, how to configure the network with APIs so that car automotive use cases can be fulfilled properly. Anything you'd like to add, Muriel? No, this is totally correct. There are so many topics that we cover and that also 5G AA is covering. But indeed, we are now seeking which one we will benefit for being together and that's very critical because you see it's a huge topic not only involve car manufacture but as I mentioned also of course uh, telecom operator technologies platform and so on and if we don't have the same direction it will never come on the market so we really need also to collaborate to make sure that the move will be a bit speed up and later maybe others will come as well because we are alone nobody can do something i would say well let me ask both of you this final question it seems that the time is just it seems right for a number of different technologies we talked about we've been talking about edge for a long time met for a long time apis for quite a long time but it seems now that they're coming together there's a bit of a convergence here around 5g to uh, as, a, as a binding agent but is it a case that um there are lots of different technology areas that are important here and it's bringing them together and as you said earlier making sure that we've got a, a, a direction and we're working towards a, an, an aim. It's a technology topic which need to be brought together but it's also from a go-to-market perspective very important and the important aspect the car OEMs, the automotive industry is bringing in here that Toyota for instance they are selling their cars in 
100 plus, 180 plus countries around the globe. So if we are talking about a certain capability like Mac or like network APIs, these cars need to rely on the fact that these capabilities need to be available on a global basis in a harmonized way. So it should not happen that Japan is going into another direction compared to the US or compared to several European countries. No, we need to have a globally harmonized solution and that's what 5GA stands for and that is also what ACC can bring in this kind of global perspective. And coming back to your question, Guy, about is it the right time? I really think it's the right time because we are in a big transformation time. We become a mobility company rather than only a car company. So in that sense, we need to think much broader than what we did before, keeping, of course, our quality mindset because that's so critical for us and so precious for us. So it's a good time because in this transformation, the previous year, we get each other to know, we started to think broader, but no, I think we are all mature to work together to achieve on this transformation. Great. Well, Muriel and Johannes, thank you both very much indeed for telling us more about this MOU. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.